Welcome to Vault, the breakthrough multi-currency phone app and card designed exclusively for expats and international travelers. The Vault app for iPhone and Android is packed with amazing features designed specifically for you. During this tutorial, I'll show you how to sign into the app and see your Vault card. Make sure your Vault card is secure. See your transactions and generate statements. See your currency balances. Make multi-currency purchases. Transfer money to another Vault account holder. Add funds to your account. Move money between currencies and get support. Signing in. First thing, go to your phone and click on Vault. Log in with your passcode or use your phone's fingerprint reader. Navigating to the first page. The app opens on the wallet page, but for this tutorial, I'm going to take you page by page from the start. So, on the main menu, select the first option, Vault Card. Menu option one, Vault Card. Here, you can see my Vault Card, but many of the card details are hidden at the moment. We've created this security feature because your Vault Card details are stored on your phone. With this feature, if anyone takes your phone when your app is open, they can't see your full card details. To see the full card details, press the I icon and re-enter your passcode. Now you can see your full card details. The security number of your card is here and below is your nine digit reference number. You'll need this reference number when you send money vault to vault or upload funds to your card. Freezing, unfreezing a vault card. On this page are a number of other features, the most important being you can freeze your card. If your vault card is lost or stolen, it can happen to us all. Instantly freeze your card by sliding this button to the right and choosing yes. Your card is now frozen. Found your card? You can unfreeze it by sliding the freeze button to the left. This security feature means you can instantly freeze your card and instantly unfreeze it whenever you want. Let's go to Menu Option 2, Transactions. This page gives you all of your transactions in their individual currencies. I'm in Euros at the moment. To change currency, let's say Sterling, I'll select the Euro currency icon, find Sterling, touch Done, and here are all of the transactions that I've made in Sterling. Generating Statements, Transactions page. If you want to turn your transaction page into a statement, touch this icon at the top. And there we are, all transactions in a statement. To save us all time and money, we don't send out paper statements. Instead, if you want a hard copy of your statement, you can print it from here. Now let's go to menu option three, wallets. This is the heart of Vault and is the page your app will normally open to. Vault is a multi-currency account, so when you buy something, you pay in the currency of the country you're in, without bank charges. Here is my Euro balance. When I'm in Europe and buy something, it will deduct in Euros from this balance. If I'm in Britain and buy something, Vault will automatically deduct from my sterling balance. If I'm in the States, purchases will be deducted from my dollar balance. In Switzerland, purchases are deducted automatically from my Swiss francs wallet and back to my euro balance. So, say if I'm using a sterling card in Europe, the banks would charge me 6%. Vault automatically deducts my payment in euros and the transaction is free. It's also the same for the internet. If I buy something from amazon.co.uk, it deducts from sterling. And if I buy from amazon.com, it deducts from dollars. How great is that for spending? Other features, Wallets page. Here are more great features from the Wallets page. You'll see here, there are three features in each wallet. Transfer, Load Funds, and Exchange. Vault to Vault, Wallets page. Transfer enables three options. To send money between your Vault account and another Vault account, choose Send Money. Here you can see a list of people with Vault accounts that you've already sent money to. If you haven't, then add a Vault account holder here. As an expat, you could send money back home to a friend or relative, for example. 
However you use this feature, all vault to vault transactions are instant and they're free. Load Funds Wallets page. To deposit money into any of your wallets, choose the Load Funds feature, which will take you through to the Load Funds page where your debit card details are stored. Here, select the currency you want to upload to and the amount. You'll see a service charge of 0.5% is shown, but we're waiving that for the moment and foreseeable future. Finally, touch Load Funds and your money is ready to spend. With Devere Vault, you can also make third-party payments. So you can use Vault to send money to a bank account anywhere in the world. Send money to yourself, a friend, or a business. Select from standard or priority payments. And save a list of your beneficiaries. You'll find it considerably cheaper and significantly quicker than using a traditional bank. And the dynamic fields ensure you'll always enter the correct information. Adding a debit card, wallets page. To add a debit card to your account, let's go back to the load funds page. Here you can see my debit card details. To add a debit card, you can have up to three on your account. I'll swipe the card to the right. And you'll see a blank debit card ready for you to input the details. If this is the first debit card you're adding, you'll see this screen first. Exchange currencies between wallets, wallets page. Let's go back to the wallets page. The third feature on the wallets page gives you the ability to exchange money between wallets. Touch exchange, which will take you through to the exchange page. Let's say my money's in euros and I want to top up my sterling wallet. I select euros here. Put in the amount I want to exchange, select the currency or wallet I'd like to send the money to, and I'll be shown current exchange rates. It's only charging me 0.99% to change my money. I'm happy with that, so I press exchange. And the money is transferred within a few seconds. My money went from one wallet on my vault to another, and I can now spend it immediately. Other features. Looking at the main menu, you'll see two more options, Settings and Support. Settings are self-explanatory, but let's look at Support. Here are two great options, Frequently Asked Questions, where you can find answers to your queries, and back to Live Chat, which is great for connecting straight to a Vault support agent. Or, of course, you can call us anytime. And that's Vault from Devere. We hope you agree with us that Vault offers some awesome features that'll make your life so much easier when you're traveling or away from home. Enjoy Devere Vault. And remember, if you have any questions, the answers are just a tap away. The low-cost e-money card and app for today's globalized world.